Hello everyone and welcome to another video review from 3DGameMan.com. I'm Rodney Reynolds and today I'm having a look at a tablet from Lenovo. It is their Tab 2 A10. Now this isn't a new tablet, their new series would be the Tab 3. So why am I reviewing it? Well, I believe that a lot of people are probably looking for a 10-inch tablet that won't break the bank but performs extremely well. And truly, that's what the Tab 2 A10 is all about because it comes with a fantastic IPS display, a quad-core processor, Android 5 and it has 16 gigabytes on board as well. You can add more and there's tons of other features and specifications which I'll go through now. Okay, so first I should mention that I've loaded up a number of apps on this tablet. So what you're seeing here, it doesn't come with. So first, let's go over this IPS display that's 10.1 inches and has a resolution of 1920 by 1200. That means, of course, that text is going to be extremely sharp and images vibrant. So no matter if you're watching a movie, looking at your photos or reading a book, it is going to be crystal clear. And it is extremely bright. You can crank this all the way up if you're outside and you'll have no problem seeing the screen. Now the touchscreen is capacitive and has a 10-point multi-touch. It is very responsive. The processor is an MT8165 quad-core at 1.7 gigahertz. So no matter if you're just launching a basic app or playing a game, you'll have no problem there because it is speedy. The memory, two gigabytes of DDR3 memory, and the storage is 16 gigabytes, but you can add more. As for sound, it has a Dolby multi-speaker soundbar at the top back, and I'll tell you right now, it's not that great. That's probably one of the negatives with this tablet, but certainly reasonable, and you do have a 3.5 millimeter jack, so you can connect a headset if you'd like to. Now the battery on this will last a long time. It's 7,000 milliamp hours lithium ion, up to 10 hours of usage. I've gotten more out of it than that, depending of course on the brightness. Standby, you can get around 20 days out of it. Now thankfully it comes with two cameras. The one on the front is five megapixels and the one on the back is eight megapixels. What's the resolution like on them? Well, I'll say it's okay. You're certainly not going to be using this as your main device for taking pictures, but certainly they're good enough like for example for Skype or just taking a quick photo. As well, it comes with Bluetooth 4 and is compatible with 802.11, A, B, G, and N wireless networks. Now if you're buying this used and it's never been opened or before June 2015, it will come with Android 4.0. Four, but don't worry, it's easily upgraded to Android 5. And if you purchase it today, that is in fact what it will come with. Now the overall look, styling, and fit and finish on this tablet is quite good considering the cost. It has a plastic back that is quite nice to the touch and a rather thick bezel, which is good because you can grab a hold of the tablet without touching the screen. It measures in at 247 by 8.9 by 171 millimeters and weighs 1.1 pounds. So let's have a look around the tablet. Again, at the front, you've got a five megapixel camera. At the top here is a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Nothing on the right side, but on the left side is a micro USB port for charging the tablet, a volume rocker, and the power button. On this side as well is the micro SD slot. That will definitely come in handy. And at the bottom is the microphone, and at the back is the 8 megapixel camera and the Dolby multi speaker soundbar. Now, this will give you some idea what the 5 megapixel front facing camera is capable of. Also, the microphone, both aren't too bad, certainly good enough for Skype or just shooting a quick video. Now let's have a look at what the 8 megapixel rear facing camera can do. And this will give you an idea what the rear facing camera is like. Not perfect but certainly very acceptable for a tablet in this price range. Now you can tweak the image and video settings, like for example, GPS location info, exposure, scene mode, white balance, image properties, anti-flicker, anti-shake, face recognition, and so on. So you can set it up 
as you like. Now I'm not going to be going through all the apps that this tablet came with because many of them I won't be using and you probably won't either. Like for example, Sync It and Share It. This is Lenovo's own apps. You'll probably be downloading your own like I have. However, just have a peek here at the sound app that they have. You have an indoor mode, an outdoor mode, different presets here for movie, music, game, voice, and you can have custom setups as well. But again, the sound on this isn't great. Let me just play you something here. Hello everyone and welcome to another video review from 3DGameMan.com. I'm Rodney Reynolds and today I'm having a look at a mechanical gaming keyboard from SteelSeries. It is their Apex M500. And now the results. And I'll say this right off the top because you might not want to sit back and look at all of these benchmarks. This tablet isn't the fastest on the market, but all things considered, it does perform well overall. For the money, and you can get this on special, this is one of the best 10-inch Android tablets on the market today. Since it comes with a high-resolution, vibrant, colorful, bright display. You can take this outside in direct sunlight, crank the brightness up, and you will have no problem viewing what is on the screen. Plus, a long-life battery. Now, from my experience, I got around 15 hours out of this indoors, of course, outdoors with the brightness cranked up, probably will be half that, but still very, very acceptable. Plus a quad core quick processor. And of course, that means you can play your favorite games. I'll go till I die here. Uh oh. Oh no. As well. You've got that micro SD slot on the side. That means you can add more memory, which you can't do to a lot of tablets. So all things considered, this is an outstanding tablet overall, and it definitely deserves the kick-ass award. Until the next time, take care. Well, that's it, but I hope you enjoyed the review. And if you think this and other videos that I produce are great, please like them, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, your comments are very welcome. And if you have any questions, let me know.